Okay, let's uh, let's start this um, uh, this panel. The first one after lunch. I see the the lunch here is probably been, uh, very excellent, and some colleagues have got stuck in the restaurant uh, and haven't made it back. But I guess they will be coming in um, as we speak. But we should get started. Um, I should announce that we're, we're going to try and, and cut. Uh, we have a two-hour slot uh, on the program, but we're going to actually try and cut at least a quarter of an hour off that to give a bit more time for the for the subsequent panel uh, in a spirit of solidarity with uh, those running the panel on greening out of the uh, out of the recession. Um, my name is Andrew Watt. I'm a senior researcher at the uh, ETUI, working on economic and uh, employment policy issues. Uh, and I'm very happy to be chairing this session. I'll just make a few brief uh, remarks to, to introduce this session. Um, I mean, I think one way to think about the, uh, the crisis uh, from 2008 uh, is, is as an exhaust, as, as a, uh, something that marked the exhaustion of, of a growth model. And this session is about growth models, so we're taking a slightly more longer term, if you like, more structural or more fundamental uh, point of view here. I mean, as we've seen in some of the other sessions, the growth model was based on a number of important uh, elements, notably on rising inequality, on a globalization of trade and, and markets, and of a fin fin financialization of, the, um, uh, of our economies. And if I think back to uh, uh, 2008, uh, there was a sense that this was a you know, this was comparable perhaps to 1929, or certainly to, to 1979, so at least in, in Britain, the start of the, the neoliberal uh, um, period, that we were going to have, you know, really quite a sea change in, 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 in policies and in politics as the extent of the crisis, as the extent of the failure of this model became apparent to, to everybody. And that was what, what the ETY tried to, 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 to contribute to and has been trying to contribute to since then. Um, I mean, as you, you all know, uh, this, uh, this, at least this progressive change, we've, had, we've certainly seen some changes since then, but actually there's, there's been a lack of, of uh, uh, progressive, uh, progressive changes. But we um, contributed to this, this debate with a, with a couple of uh, publications here after the crisis towards a sustainable growth model, more recently um, exiting the crisis towards a model of more equitable and sustainable growth and we'll be talking um, about some of the issues raised in these uh, publications um, in, this, uh, in this session. Um, we have, uh, I hope you agree, a very high-profile panel of, of speakers to do that. Um, first off, to give an input, will be one of the driving forces, particularly behind the, the second book I mentioned, um, John Evans, General Secretary um, of TUAC um, at the OECD, who has about 20 minutes um, to make his points, then we will have uh, reactions from, uh, uh, from, from the panel here. We have three uh, um, high-profile MEPs from uh, three of the, let's say, left of centre um, uh, uh, groups in the, in the European Parliament. Then we will have uh, uh, also short comments by uh, uh, two academics, Isabel Cassius uh, uh, from UCL, and Maro Pianta uh, from the University of, uh, Universities of Urbino and, and Rome. So I will uh, give the floor straight away uh, to John. 